hope you're doing well. I can see I'm gonna have to probably either raise the table or angle my iPad down. I'm just trying to sit tonight, but this thing is hard to move on the carpet. So how is everyone? Please say hello in the comments as you are hopping on. And I'm excited to be here with you tonight. All right, I think. Hello, Erica. There we go. Now I can see some comments. There's my friends. All right, let's see who's on here. Wow, a lot of you. Holly and Jackie and Vicki and Bunny, Marlene, Denise, Tiffany, Amy, Candy. Whoa, so many names. I can't keep up. Alyssa, Tita, Beck, Patty, Sean. Awesome. Yay. Thanks for being here. I'd love it if you give the video a thumbs up. You know the deal. That lets YouTube know that something's happening here. All right. Hey, I love it. You guys are all saying hi to each other. That is awesome. I think I can come up a little bit more and then I'm going to angle this down just a tiny bit. There we go. Now you can see more of what's happening here. Hello, Stephanie from Canada. All right. Now I need, I need my seat to be a little higher, but I don't think it goes up any higher than this. Where is the thing? You know, the thing. There's a little, there it is. Nope, this is as high as it goes. Okay, so that's all right. I just have to remember not to slouch. All right, I see more people hopping on. Yay. Well, happy Thursday. Um, Thursday night is when I go live here on my YouTube channel. And what I thought I would do tonight is I'm going to make a little gift for the ladies in my Bible study. I co-lead because next Wednesday is our last meeting for a while. So I thought this would be kind of a fun thing, a way to use our new white wood tags. These come in a pack of 12. Oh, thank you. They come in a pack of 12. They even come with this jute. And I'm also going to be using the Faith Minis. So let me move my little individual ones we're going to be using these not all of them but most of them so these are the 12 stencils that you get on the faith minis they're about two and a half inches square yay linda you caught me live awesome so i'm also going to dress these up with probably some ribbon these are actually some Timu ribbons I got. They're actually really good quality. I think they're like, what is that? Half inch. Um, I also have little flowers. It's kind of a mixture. Some are Timu that I ordered and some are Hobby Lobby. And then I also thought it would be fun to put like a few beads. So we're gonna dress these up. We'll at least finish one or two completely. Um, and then what I did, mine looked a little, um, they weren't as bright as I would like. So I actually spray painted these. And what I don't like about spray paint is then they kind of feel a little tacky. So I think what I might do is take a second to just do a little um, matte Mod Podge on just the side that I'm gonna be stenciling on. I just don't want my, I you know what I should have done is nothing. I should have just left them exactly how they came. They were perfectly fine, but I had to go and mess with them. So if you decide to do this, just use the wood tags how they come. You don't need to do anything to them, but now because I spray painted them, I need to just do a little bit of Mod Podge. At least we'll try this on a few. Maybe I'll go ahead and stencil one and see how it does. 
because now I'm getting like Mod Podge little boogers. I don't like that. You guys know what I'm talking about with little Mod Podge boogers? Little like dusty things. I did, Alyssa, I put, um, I did send an email to the person who was first on the wheel, like I spun the wheel, and I sent her an email I put on here on the community page and on my Facebook page a note saying that I had emailed the first person. If I do not hear from her by the morning, then I'm going to draw somebody else. Okay, so be, oh, they don't display any info. Yeah, um, you would have gotten an email from me, Monarch Mom DIY, and uh, you can check your junk mail, you know, just in case. All right, I need to get... Getting a little like, like fuzz. Like I don't know where it's coming from. It's really weird. How late are you? You're not late. We're just getting started. Oh gosh. All right. So what I'm using are the white wood tags that just released yesterday you can order these from my magnolia website and like i said they are perfectly fine how they come i never should have tried to mess with them by paint, spray painting them because now i'm mod podging on top of the spray paint and i should have just left them alone Ugh, these little dust things so anyway we're going to make a little gift for the ladies in my Bible study. And I'm going to make, I'm just going to go ahead and make 12. We don't have, there are not 12 other people. So that way they can just all pick one. And then I'll have, you know, whatever left over. Maybe I'll use as sprinkle gifts or something like that. Okay. Could I do a video using the paint and ink pens? Well, sure, if I used them. <laughs> I really haven't used them much. Um, you know what you might do? Was that Susan that asked that? Susan, you know what you might do is ask on the um, Creator Facebook group, since you're a creator, ask on that Creator Facebook group and, um, you know, ask how people use them. The only person I know who uses them a lot is Heidi. Okay. I'm not going to do... I'm going to leave the other ones without the Mod Podge. And we'll see if there's a difference in how they turn out. Okay. Okay. All right, so these, if you saw my video where I talked about the new products, these tags are a really nice size. They are like three inches by five inches, so decent size. All right, I'm going to leave those four without the Mod Podge because it's just making things annoying. Yes, hello, everyone. Oh, I see we have some more people on. Oh, yes. Thank you. Deal it. Deal with it by using a fixative mat, like the Mod Podge. Yeah, I think these will be fine. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these four closer to me that I didn't put Mod Podge on. They just have the spray paint. But like I said, do what I say, not what I do. Just stencil. I should have just stenciled them how they were. They were perfectly fine. Okay. And now my fingers are sticking to things. So I'm a little bummed. I'm 
supposed to be having a garage sale tomorrow and Saturday. And my hubby just informed me that it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I'm really hoping it doesn't because I can't actually do it in the garage because I have way more stuff. And then you have people asking, hey, is that for sale? Is that for sale? You know, when it's just stuff that's in your garage. So really hoping that it doesn't rain. All right. I think for the first four, I want to do Walk by Faith, Child of God. Oh yeah, I love this one. Pray, trust, wait. I'm in a season of that right now. I think probably everybody is for something at, at some point. All right, and faith over fear. So what I'm going to kind of do is coordinate the ribbon color with the flowers and the beads. Okay? How's that sound? How's everybody doing? No worries. You're not late. Hey, Gloria. Welcome, girl. I've been thinking about you. I'm really hoping I'm going to see you in uh, North Carolina. Even if it's just for a craft night. Okay. So because these are bigger than the tat or bigger than the stencil, I'm going to kind of center it like this. All right. So I got my tacky towel here. I'm going to fuzz them. I've used these a few times, so they're not super duper sticky. Thank you, Marty. I am doing pretty well. We are just... <sighs> Middle child is done with his first year of college, and we got the younger one is finishing up her junior year. It's busy. I'm just glad I don't have a senior this year. I had two seniors last year. A college senior and a high school senior, and it was craziness. Craziness. Okay. Just kind of centering them so I have a little bit of space at the bottom. I can put some ribbon across. Pray, trust, wait. Hey, Karen. Welcome. Hey, Natty. Natty. Oh. Oh, I want to see what you got from Timu. How much did you spend? <laughs> Isn't that a terrible question? I actually have two orders coming. And I'm sorry if if things like Timu and Shein and places like, if that upsets you. I, I'm not, maybe I should be more, but I feel like, it's a world economy and I'm, there are, there are good people in China. I taught families, I taught the kids of families in China. Anyway, I ordered some stuff from Timu too. <laughs> and, uh, I placed an order for like craft supplies and some stuff for, um, little goodie bags I'm going to make for my downline that come to celebration convention. And then I placed a second order cause I started seeing they got clothes. So you just have to watch the sizing. Um, my particular size, you know, is one size in U.S. sizes and then is a different size in China. So you just have to be careful. I know it's the, it's the government. Yeah, and it's actually sad because um, I taught for VIP Kid for, a, gosh, a while. And I, I had made some really awesome relationships with some families and soon after I stopped teaching for them because I got a full-time job they uh the government didn't allow the families there anymore to take extra you know like education from anyone other than their Chinese teachers so I was sad, so I pray for them, but I have no, no contact. I used to be able to contact through WhatsApp, but they've even gotten rid of that. So, all right, so these are turning out pretty good. Let me show you what I've got so far. I've got Walk by Faith. Uh, cut a branch off a tree in the spot.
What do you mean the spot? Okay, and there's Child of God. Do you mean you made it, you got a slice of a tree? Like that people use for um like centerpieces? If that's I would if it's raw wood, I would definitely mod podge it before you tried to stencil. If that is what you're asking. All right, here's Pray Trust Wait. I think these will be nice. It's just a little something that they can. Maybe I'll even um, write something on the back, um, just to say what what the study was and the time. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it blank. That way, if they decide they want to give it to someone else, they can. The other thing I thought would be cute is, um, if you didn't have these tags, the um, our mason jar ones. Those are skinnier, but they would still fit the stencil. And of course, those are unpainted, so you would you would have to paint those. So cute. All right, and there's Faith Over Fear, and I see I got black on the top of it, but I can cover that up. You are spoiled. No, you're not. Tracy, did you see you got a new creator? You have four now. Da, da, da. Just wanted to know. Wondering. Um, sometimes, like that one, those were kind of curled. I think because they were stuck really well to the surface. I think it's because these are ones that were just the spray paint. So they're kind of sticky. Um, so you'd want to make sure you fuzz them really well and maybe I just didn't fuzz them enough. All right. So my Mod Podge ones are dry now. So I'm just going to move these over here to dry my chalk paste. <sighs> Awesome, congrats. Is this someone you know is, is my next question? Ooh, some of these are not. Uh. That one is not dry. Okay, let's see, four more that I wanted to use. I do like G's, oh, I like Saved by Grace. I want to do Love Never Fails, Jesus is Life, and Jesus Loves Me. Okay. Oh, good. Is she another one that found you online or through your Facebook Lives? Awesome. Hope everyone's having a good night. I have Mod Podge stuck to my finger. Facebook Live. Yep. Okay. Very good. I will, um, I'll send her a welcome email as well with the groups, all the groups. Lil Mama. Hello, little mama. Have you have you been here on a live before? Awesome. So, Holly, when your stencils curl up like that, when you wash them, are you able to get them flat again? You should be able to. Save 
it by grace. What are we making tonight? I am making using our white wood tags that just came out and our faith minis. I'm making little gifts for the ladies in my Bible study next week. You know, I thought about making it for Mother's Day and giving them out, but as the pastor's wife, I don't want to start giving things out and not have enough for everybody to make them for my Bible study ladies, cause it's a smaller number and you know, it's for a, a set purpose. So that is what we are making. We're using the tags, the faith minis and just some black chalk paste. You could of course make yours whatever colors you'd like. And then we're gonna embellish them with some ribbon, flowers and beads. For right now, I am just doing these stencils on eight of them. I guess I'll just do eight for now since I don't want to clean stencils and then come back. Candace, are you asking me where I'm from? Like where I live right now? Oh, okay. Um, yes, Candace, I currently live in Michigan, West Michigan. I was born and raised in Illinois, just around the other side of Lake Michigan from where I am now. Um, but then when I was 15, my parents moved our family to Arizona. So I actually lived there for 25 years, met my husband, got married. We had our, four, our three kids. And then in 2016, we moved to Michigan for a pastor position that my husband has been doing for the last seven years. So that is where we are currently. And I really do love Michigan. Love it, love it. Okay, so we've got our stencils done on eight of our tags. And I have my stencils in some water. Candace, you were born in Michigan. Oh, in Detroit. Okay, so I'm in Hudsonville on the other side of the state in West Michigan. I want to put those in there. Okay. All right, so what you can do if your stencils are taking a little while to dry is give them a blast with the heating tool. Mint tea gun, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> funny, funny. Well, thanks, uh, little mama. Yeah, I've been on YouTube for about four years now. I guess I didn't start going live though until about a year and a half ago when I um, joined Magnolia Design Co. That's where these stencils and tags are from. They are reusable stencils. I also have a Facebook page for Monarch Mom DIY. I go live there at least three times a week. What do you guys think? Should I do lives on YouTube more than once a week? Hi, Michelle. All right. I see a couple little boo-boos on some of my stencils, but for the most part, they look pretty good. So what I need to decide now is, and actually what I use sometimes to clean up is just a, the one of the points of my little 
fingertip knife here and just kind of scratch any little boo-boos away. All right. So let's bring our original four back down here. They've had a little bit longer to sit. Oops. And let's see. I'm being really nitpicky only because I am going to give these away. That one looks pretty good. So it just has a couple. And what this, what the reason this happens sometimes is I go too fast and I use a little bit too much chalk paste and then it goes under the stencil a little bit. So these are the colors of flowers. I think I'm just going to do a variety. Like I'm going to do, um, <laughs> yes, Holly, all those things. All right. I'm just going to do like a couple with pink. Where are my scissors? I think I'm just going to do the ribbon at the bottom. Because at the top, I'm thinking I'll do a flower. And let's see, I've got, oh, I kind of like that pink. It's a little bit lighter. These are those paper ones from Hobby Lobby. And what I'll do is I'll glue that right below the hole so that when I put my string on it'll still go through okay so let's actually put the string on first I think I'm gonna fold it in half remember these strings come with your tags fold it in half and then where you have this loop here I'm gonna put the ends through that and then you have your little tag hanging there so let's do those four hi Karen I'm so crafty <laughs> Well, I do love it. I've been crafting since I was little. I've been, uh, yeah, my first crafty business was Creative Memories back in 2000 when I just had one child. Now she's going to turn 23. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, in Maryland. All day, every day. Well, that's, wow. It is nice that you can watch a lot on YouTube and also on Facebook. There's lots of crafters. So Pam wouldn't mind. Um, I guess, Holly, because I'm, my husband and I are the only ones in the house and my kids are, I don't know, I'm in the office, which is kind of at the front of the house, which is why you sometimes hear the trucks going by because they're annoyingly loud sometimes. The first crafts were noodles. What? I don't know what that means. All right, let's get my glue gun here. And... I dropped the ribbon on the floor. That's the bad thing about sitting is I'm not going to get up and go down and pick something up that I dropped off the dropped on the floor. So I'm going to press that hot glue as smooth as I can. And then we'll trim those ends. So let me ask you guys this. Should I put the flower right in the middle? Or do you think I should do it like a little off to the side? Right here or like off to the side? What do you guys think? Uh, 
Oh, in grade school. Oh, my crafts? I don't know. I remember, I remember, I didn't know how to sew with a sewing machine, but I remember um, making Barbie clothes um, for my Barbie doll out of just fabric, and I would just figure out how to hand stitch. All right, I'm going to get... I don't know how many beads to put on here. Let's see how three looks. So I'm going to put both. So I've got the two ends of the string here now. And the beads I'm using, I actually am deconstructing a garland, a beaded garland from Dollar Tree. Oh, this is cute. What do you guys think? Now, I know I have to trim this, but what do you think? Just with the three beads. How's that look? I also remember cutting pictures out of the JCPenney catalog and making little, um, you know, like little murals of what I wanted for Christmas. That to me is crafting because you're cutting, you're gluing. It's like making a, making a wish board or whatever you call it. Oh yeah, I did paper dolls too. Lots of paper dolls. There. So there's our first one. What do you think? Pretty cute, huh? And then the back is just blank. Just so got some glue strings. I almost wonder, I don't think I have enough. No, any more flowers would be, I don't know. I feel like maybe I should have put the flower in the middle, but does it look okay on the side? Oh, latch hook. I did those too. A latch hook rug. Mine was a bubble gum machine. I remember that. <laughs> that was the, that was the picture was a bubble gum machine. Oh my goodness. So many fun memories. All right, let's do a purple one. I probably should do a couple neutral ones for if I have any ladies that prefer the neutral. So I hope this gives you guys some ideas of something you could do for little quick little gifts. All right, so I have purple. Oh yeah, I don't have purple in the other flowers. So we'll use we'll use another one of these. Um yes, uh actually I just got done doing an auction. Sometimes I oh I can't get this out. I will um have a craft show at the church and then which I had two Saturdays ago. And then what was left over, I did an auction on my Facebook page. And some of the ladies actually that are on here tonight um, purchased some of my items and either have received them or will be receiving them very shortly through the mail. All right. So should we do the same thing with beach? Should we do white and purple? So this is the, this is the piece of beaded garland that I'm using. I also have one from Timu that has purple on it. And I, so I, I take these 
beaded garlands apart and then I just use them a few at a time, which is really economical. All right, so I'm thinking I'll do purple, white, and purple. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Let's see, that other one, where'd it go? Oh, I started with white. So I guess I'll start with white. I'll do white, purple, white. Okay. Well, I think sewing is crafty for sure. My mom knows how to sew. And I did learn how to use a sewing machine one time, the first time I was going to Africa because um, we were making these pillowcase dresses to be able to dress um, a lot of the little girls. And it's nice because you can just slip it right over their clothes that they're currently wearing and they have a new dress. But I sewed that one dress and I've not sewn anything else coming together pretty quick. Pray trust weight with the little purple flower and the purple ribbon and the purple bead. Very nice. I'm going to start putting these up here, I think. All right. How about blue? Let's do a blue one. I'm just looking at the, looking at the chat, seeing what I'm missing. Okay. I might use this purple again, but let's get my blue. I think I already cut a piece actually. Let's do faith over fear. Very cute, okay. Maybe this one. What do you guys think about two flowers? But I think what I have to do to use these is I either have to just cut the little knobby thing really short so that it's a little flatter. I think I can do that. So this I have, I'm gonna do two blues. I have a couple different color blues of these flowers. That's cute. Okay, and then let's get some white and blue beads. So a couple different blues. I'm trying to get two that are the same. There we go. Oh, that'll be fun. Yep, I did Girl Scouts. Um, I was my oldest daughter's Girl Scout leader from kindergarten through, uh, when did we stop? I think she was in seventh or eighth grade when we just, we stopped. And then my younger daughter, we did it for a couple of years. Um, actually she was doing that until we moved to Michigan and Girl Scouts isn't as big of a thing out here. Um, plus she was really busy with dance. So we kind of stopped when we moved. I want, Alyssa, have you tried to see if you can order them online? They're in the spring crafts, which I can't believe they're already moving back further in the store so they can put up fall stuff. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. I'm not ready to start crafting for fall yet. How about you guys? I'm just getting the patriotic stuff and I haven't even done any beach stuff yet. Well, yes, I did. I did one. I did that one. 
I think it was on Facebook, the crate. All right, there's our blue one. Oops. Aren't these adorable? I'm loving them. All right, I gotta do yellow now. I need some, I need some bright yellow for this walk by faith. Now this, okay, I can either use, I have some cute rickrack from Walmart, or I do have a little bit, a little bit of this thicker yellow and white check from Dollar Tree. I think I'll use that. I got a little messy with, but okay. And let's see the yellow flowers. Ooh, are so pretty. These little daisies. I'll just do one, though, I think. This one I'm going to put right in the middle. They don't all have to be the same. Right? Okay, and then I got this one. I'm going to do white in the middle. So I'm going to do yellow, yellow, white, yellow. I feel like I'm falling off my chair. Oh, you know what? Um, couple of the Dollar Trees around me are starting to get the Dollar Tree Plus stuff, which it's really, you guys, it's only a sm one aisle in the store. It's not even that much different stuff. Yeah, you got some of the bigger like trays and canvases, but I don't know. I guess I don't think it's that big of a deal. Somehow this string is a little shorter. I'm a little nervous. It's so weird. I'm a little nervous about my rummage sale tomorrow. I haven't done one here in Michigan. I feel like I used to do them all the time in Arizona. But I really hope we have good weather. I hope the rain forecast is wrong and it's going to be dry the whole time. There we go. I like that one. I think this one's my favorite. Although they're all pretty, I really like the yellow. Very cute. Okay, I've got four more. What did I do? Oh, <laughs> Yay, it's motivating. Well, and it's fun when you make things for other people, I think. And it's really just, you know, some tags and one sheet of stencils. Okay, should I just do four, those same four colors? I, oh, wait, I was going to do a neutral one. Or is that boring? Is that boring? I could do the black and white ribbon. And then I have white daisies, but white on white, that's gonna look, mm. no, I'm doing colors. I'm doing colors. Oh, gardening. Yeah, um, the only thing I garden is milkweed, which sounds funny, but it's for the monarchs, hence that's how I named my channel Monarch Mom DIY. In the summer here in Michigan, I raise monarch butterflies. And um, their population has been declining steadily because of their milkweed is being taken away because of pesticides and all sorts of things. But anyway, milkweed grows wild here. 
So I have an area in my backyard that I just let it go. We don't we don't spray any um, weed killer on it or anything. It's in a garden box because I did try vegetable gardening for like once when I was here. Um, but it is full of other weeds right now. So I need to go out and pull all those other weeds so that the milkweed can have some space. I think I should maybe put some fresh dirt down too. So I have to find a time to do that. But this garage sale was very necessary to raise funds for my daughter going to New York into Germany for six weeks this summer for school. And it's good because it's helping me clean stuff out. We have like 20, it, that might even be an underestimation, like 20 of my daughter's dance costumes that we're gonna try to sell. Other things, just random stuff. So. I hope we have good weather. Anybody else have plans? Yes, in Minnesota. Yeah, the only thing is um, a lot of places they mow and it's funny because actually the milkweed has started, last year I noticed it started popping up in the, the grass. Um, just outside the garden box like the roots were traveling but our yard gets mowed once a week in the summer by the uh, church landscaping guy but yeah i i've never done the saving the seeds i really should save those seed pods maybe this year i will do that and Keep them in the basement or something until it's time. Honestly, though, I don't know where I would plant them that wouldn't get mowed. We'll have to see. Oh, cool, Patty. You grow milkweed also. That's awesome. Yep. I, because, well, the teacher in me really loves it. Uh, if you look here on my YouTube channel, I have a playlist that is Monarchs, and you can see some of my videos. Um, actually, probably the, there's one I did where it's kind of more of a teaching video. It gives the life cycle, and it shows pictures and videos, um, like little video clips. Here's my other pink one. I used the daisy that time. But they were very late last year and I was traveling, so I didn't start raising them until later in the summer. But I just do what I can do, you know? I have a, a um, enclosure that my dad and I made during COVID and it has screen that's really fine so that the other little bugs that can harm the caterpillars can't get in so sometimes I find eggs and I raise them from before they even hatch sometimes I find caterpillars it just depends okay here is a purple flower oh gosh there's just not enough to grab onto there So yeah, the only gardening I do is milkweed. <laughs> oh, night, night, Karen. All right, where's my purple beans? you guys like this idea if you want to order this stencil set it is available I put the link um, 
in the description of the video and also these wood tags which remember they come with the jute twine which is really really nice Bye, Denise. Yeah, it's getting late. I got to get up early for this garage sale tomorrow, or rummage sale, I guess. Yard sale, rummage sale, driveway sale. I don't know. Hopefully sell some stuff. Yes, happy Mother's Day. I still have to figure out if I'm going to do a video. I think Sunday's video might be a paper crafting one that people have been asking for so I hope you'll check in Sunday evening after you after you moms celebrate or after you celebrate with your mom it'll be something fun yeah mow around the, the milkweed yep Last year, my milkweed came in early and it was way too big. So what I need to do this year is like a month or so after it grows, I need to cut it down because otherwise it's all tough and big and not good for the little babies to chew. All right, let's do our yellow one and a blue one and then we're gonna call it good. Ooh, that's about all the yellow I have left. Have to get some more of that color from Dollar Tree. This would be cute maybe hanging from your rear view mirror. Small enough, I don't think it would obstruct your vision too much for driving. Okay. I'm just pulling all these beads off this. It's gonna have quite the mixture. I do love working with tags. They are fun. And these are a good size to give as a gift. <laughs> really you're not a purple person but that one's your favorite yeah it's pretty I might have to come back in and put a little bit more glue on the ends of the ribbon just so it doesn't peel up or fray and the reason I'm having to do a double knot is because the holes in my beads are kind of big and I don't want the beads to come off All right, one more. Let's do a blue. And I am very happy with how these turned out. These would make great little gifts. And think about it, Christmas time, you can make ornaments with these as well. With the holiday minis, with a little um, nativity or oh holy night stencil would be cute. Any kind. You could paint them different colors. I think I'm going to 
gonna do something different with my Christmas tree this year. We'll see. All right, blue. I don't know why, but with the blue, I like to do two flowers because I have two different colors of blue in these flowers. All right, beads, and then we're done. And I have some here. White and red. On the red, I painted two white stripes. Ooh, that sounds really pretty. That sounds really pretty, Patricia. You should um, post a picture of that on the Mo uh, Monarch Moms Magnolia VIP group in Facebook. If you're in that group, that's a great place for my customers and creators to post pictures of your creations. I do not know if I'm going to get, oh, I think I'm okay. Only with one, one knot on that one. And here is our last one. All right, so let me show you our two. Here's our two blue tags. And our two yellow tags. And our two pink tags and our two purple tags love them love them well thanks so much for joining me tonight guys um thanks for sprinkling the video and um i will see you guys very very soon facebook and youtube together oh i don't know All right, well, I hear the uh, the family is uh, coming to life out there. People are getting home from things. So I will see you guys very soon. Thanks so much. Bye.